Just listen to that sweet sound and let's add custom sounds to Minecraft. Alright, we found ourselves back in jail once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom sounds and a custom block sound group to Minecraft over here. And it's going to be really, really interesting. And it's actually going to be way more straightforward than you might think. So this actually has been uh, widely requested, actually, because a few things changed. Now, I found the changes to be pretty trivial, but nonetheless, we're just going to go through this. So in the tutorial mode package, we're going to right click new package called sound. In there, we want to make a new class called the mod sounds class. And this is where the fun begins. First of all, we are going to need a custom helper method that is going to be a private static sound event called register sound event. And as a parameter, we want a string called name right here. And then we're going to continue. We want an identifier called ID right here. This is just a new identifier with, of course, our tutorial mod that mod ID and then passing in the name string parameter. And then we're going to return registry, making sure we choose net Minecraft registry right here. Very important. Then just hit a tab to autocomplete that register registries dot sound event, passing in the ID and then sound event dot of, and then passing in ID as well. And that's basically one of the big changes. So before you could just do new sound event and now you just got to do sound event dot of. That's pretty much the big change right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make five sounds and also a block sound group. So a block sound group, just to quickly explain is, you know, there's a break sound for a block and a walk sound and a hit sound and a placing sound and also a falling sound for a block. And that is basically what we're going to sort of do as well. And we're also going to add a custom sound that is going to be played when you actually right click a block just so that you have something else to do with the sound as well. The first one is going to be a public static sound event called cool underscore sound. That's the best description I was able to find for the sound. It's going to be fine. And then we're going to call the register sound event method. And then the name is going to be cool underscore sound. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this four times. This is going to be the animated underscore block underscore break. I'm actually going to duplicate this as well. There you go. This is going to be the animated break. This is the walk. And then this is the animated place. And then this is the animated hit. And we're just going to use the walk sound event for the fall as well. This is called the animated underscore block underscore break. And then once again, when you copy this over, make sure to change the names right here. Uh, I've, I've done this plenty of times before that I've maybe forgotten a name change here or there and that is not good and now we also want a sound group so that's going to be a public static final block sound group and then we're going to call this the animated underscore block sounds there you go and this is just a new block sound group with one and one that's just the volume and the pitch and now we want to give it the following things that is going to be mod sounds dot animated block break and then we want to give it the animated walk. And then we want to give it the mod sounds that animated block uh, place. There you go. And then a mod sounds animated. This is going to be animated hit. And then last but not least, we also want to give it the walk again. There you go. And then ending it with a semicolon. And there we go. All of the code can, of course, also be taken a look at in the description below in the GitHub repository. Now, if we actually middle mouse mode click on the block sound group, you can see that these are the different sound events, right? So we can see break sound, step sounds, play sound, hit sound, and then fall sound at the very end here. So that's basically where we're just taking the same walk sound because in this case, that's going to be fine. Right. So we have registered the sounds. However, you're probably going to say, well, wait a second. We haven't added any sounds. And that is exactly correct. For this, we need to go to the resources folder and we need to add something in the assets folder. So in our tutorial mod folder right here, the first thing we want to do is we want to make a new file inside of the tutorial mod folder. So resources, assets, tutorial mod or your mod ID. And this has to be called sounds.json. It's extremely important. Take a look at how this folder structure looks like. It has to be instead of the tutorial mod folder and it should look exactly like this. And I'm going to write out one of the sounds and then we're going to copy over the rest because uh, it is pretty much always the same. Now, a sound is a has a name, right? So we basically need the curly brackets here because this is a JSON file. And then we have the animated underscore block underscore break. Now, this name right here is the same name as we were given right here. So that's very important. Then we do a colon and curly brackets again. We then have subtitle right here. You can actually see at the very at the bottom right corner, it, it actually suggests to us that this is a sounds.json file. So it can actually recognize some of the components of this. If this does not happen, that's fine. You don't really need it because most of the stuff can be copied over anyway. And this is going to be sounds.tutorialmod.animated underscore block underscore break. This can be translated in your e underscore usjson file 
if someone has subtitles on, this is what they will, that what then will be translated into what is actually going on. That is the general idea. We will then do a comma, and this is going to be the sounds. You can see the sound files this sound event uses. This is, a, this is exactly correct. In our case, this only uses one, and that is tutorial mod colon animated underscore block underscore break. Now, in this case, this name right here does not have to necessarily match with this name, because also you can put in multiple sounds right here. This name does, however, have to match with the OGG file that we're going to copy over. In the tutorial mod assets folder, we're going to right click new directory called sounds with an S at the end, very important. And I shall be copying over all of the OGG files that we're going to need for this tutorial. Those are in fact also available to you in the description below for download. And the names here are very important. So the name, as you can see, animated underscore block break is the same right here, animated underscore block underscore break. So that has to match with the sounds one with this one. And also this is very important. They have to be OGG files. You cannot just take an MP3 file, rename it, and then just rename the MP3 to OGG. That does not work. I just want to make this clear. That does not work. It has to be a properly converted OGG file. And also it should always be in mono. That is very important as well. If it's not in mono, it can lead to some issues. Regardless, what I will do is just copy over the rest, right? When you see this, you're just going to be like, okay, this is all literally the, the same idea as this, right? You can see this is the block break. This is the block hit and change this to block hit, change this to block hit and so on and so forth. Same here is this is cool sound. This is cool sound. This is cool sound. So really, this should all be very, very easily understandable. Uh, this is also, of course, still available in the description below in the GitHub repository. So you can double check the sounds.json file as well, if anything might be unclear. Right now that we've added the sounds, let's now actually play the sound and also basically add this block sound group. Let's first of all do the block sound group that is going to be in the mod blocks class in the, well, when we are actually making this under the fabric block settings, what you can do is you can just go in here and you can say dot sound is sounds as you can see and then we say mod sounds dot animated block sounds and that's it now all of a sudden our animated block is going to have these sounds that's all that there is to it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take away the requires tool right here uh, the specific reason for this is that then i can more easily break it and also hit it at the same time with a strength of one it should be fairly easily doable so let's just do that and that's going to be okay as well in the custom block right here what we're going to do is we're going to overwrite the on use method now you saw that it had a strike through there this usually means you can see override deprecate it this is actually not the case it just means that you should not call this method but you can override it as much as you want so that this was something to be kept in mind here that's totally fine and what we're going to do is we want to play a sound when you right click this particular block. How does this work? Well, we're going to say world.playSound. We're going to pass in the player. The second parameter is going to be the actual position. So this is going to be pause. The, the third parameter is the sound. So this is mod sounds.coolSound. And you can actually see all of the different methods that we could possibly use. So they're overloaded, right? There's different types of them. Uh, and you can see the next one is the mod sounds. Then comes the sound category. So we can then say sound category blocks. That's absolutely correct. And then we just have a pitch and a volume, and we're just going to put both of them to 1F. That's going to be totally fine. And that's actually all that we need to do. In this case, we have added a block sound group, right, which is going to be the breaking, the walking, and the hitting sound, and the placing sound for a particular block. And we've also added a cool sound that's going to be played when we right-click the animated block. So because that's all that we need to do, let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, we found this back in Minecraft, and we have the animated block. So let's just set one down. And that is a new sound. That's awesome. So that is the first step done. If we right click it, that's also a very cool sound. And let's see if I just set down a few more over here and we, um, and we go over it. So you might be like, well, that's very subtle, but it is a different sound. The stepping sound, if we go here. So it is definitely a different sound. Uh, the break sound. There you go. And then we also have a hitting sound. Excuse me. And then we also have a hitting sound. There we go. So that's all of them over here together. That's pretty awesome indeed. And that is how easy it can be to add some custom sounds to your blocks and to Minecraft. All right, that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So, yeah.